William's shock move will shield deal with Harry Phil. Prince William is set to replace Prince Harry as Captain General of the Royal Marines, a shock move which experts believe will seal a deal with their ongoing field. Speaking on the latest episode of the Royal Beat, Royal author Robert Lacey said, if William does take over the role, there will be no turning back from the ramifications. If you were right at the beginning and you say that the role of the honorary head of the Royal Marines was going to be given to William, I think that will mock the rift, Royal Spurt explained. Harry has said so often that his military links matter to so much to him. The Invictus Games also, but also his active service. His grandfather, Prince Philip, used to be honorary head of the Marines and, as I understand it, the palace deliberately kept the position open and vacant for him if he wants to come back into family. If they are going to give it to William, I think that's the sign saying that's the end of it, he added. Robert also highlighted for how the spare is typically a job with their official roles, which is why the shock's decision is even more devastating for Harry. When it came to two solid careers, military careers, Harris as the spare was allowed to go to Afghanistan to serve as the proper soldier, whereas William wanted to do the same and that was denied of him, Robert Toy Rybit host Kate Thornton. Roy historian Tessa Dunlop chimed in, which is why it's so tragic if Harry is ultimately stripped of his honorific military roles because that's the one area where the spare could and can shine. Right correspondent Duncan Larcombe weighed in on the matter, saying the only thing Harry has been able to do really well is his military career. He said his troops left him and the superior officers left the fact that he was doing not only what was expected of him as an officer, but going at a strong mile. No one can take that away from Harry. Harry knows that all of the members of the modern family, he has biggest entitlement to honor the military and to be there in those ceremony roads. He's the one that's earned the right to wear medals. Duncan concluded. The comments came after a former Green Beret seemingly slammed Harry for thinking he could act in a row while living abroad, saying UK deserves better. According to Express, Major General Julian Thompson said, while sovereigns have served the Royal Marines for many years, it could be the British base figurehead. With Harry now located in the United States, the military man went on to say that it only makes sense that they enlist a local representative. In that regard, and for many other reasons too, the Duke of Cambridge could be perfect. The Royal Marines deserve someone who is an active participant for the role, someone who lives in Julian to the British publication. The point is that to have someone who understands us and protects us, it cannot be done by someone who has decided to make his life in Los Angeles. It matters 